Roosevelt Island sits on the East River between Manhattan and Queens. The tram running alongside the Queensboro Bridge and the F train are two of the most popular ways to get there. Roosevelt Island is now a primarily residential destination that offers beautiful walking and biking paths along the water. But it was originally bought by the city in 1828 as a site for prisons, hospitals, and asylums. Originally called Blackwell's Island and then Welfare Island in 1921, it did not officially become Franklin D. Roosevelt Island until 1973. Blackwell's Island gained national attention when American journalist Nellie Bly worked to uncover the mistreatment of patients at the Women's Lunatic Asylum in 1887. The island was also the location of the first ever hospital entirely dedicated to the treatment of smallpox. The Roosevelt Island Historical Society says it was first opened for public inspection in 1856. The Gothic Revival structure was designed by James Renwick Jr., who was also the designer of multiple New York City designated landmarks such as St. Patrick's Cathedral. The smallpox hospital housed 100 charity case patients on the lower floor and private rooms on the upper floor for paying patients. The Board of Health took control of the smallpox hospital in 1875 and began converting it into housing for student nurses as a hospital training school opened in association with a facility called Charity Hospital, located just north of the original structure. Another smallpox treatment hospital was built on North Brothers Island, which allowed Blackwell's Island Smallpox Hospital to divert patients to this new facility. By the end of the century, the population of Blackwell's Island was about 7,000 people. By transitioning the hospital into nurse housing units, it was beneficial to keeping disease off of the island and its residents healthy. Friends of the Ruin is a nonprofit that seeks to engage public discourse around the reuse of the remains of the former Roosevelt Island Smallpox Hospital. President and founder Stephen Martin says the group is looking to turn the current site into a memorial for a more modern day health crisis. To see it turned into kind of a luxury housing or a nice restaurant is one thing, but to see it serve New York State as a, as a garden, as a memorial, feels very meaningful as we are confronting a post-COVID-19 world. The original structure of the smallpox hospital was deteriorating and became abandoned by the mid-20th century. But today, visitors can still see the remains of the ruin from outside of the fence. Why can the public currently not access the space? So the, the smallpox hospital is very much an active ruin. Um, it's not permanently stabilized. Um, it is um, kind of in a constant state of decay. And we're doing everything we can to stabilize it, to shore it up. Um, but it's currently not accessible because it's not safe for visitors. In 1976, the Landmarks Preservation Commission designated the site as a New York City landmark due to its special historical and aesthetic interest and value as a part of the development, heritage, and cultural characteristics of New York City. Friends of the Ruin hopes to begin stabilizing and renovating this site as early as 2024. And if you didn't know, well now you know. For News 4 New York, I'm Ryan Baker.